the Atlantic Campaign of 1806 was one of the most important and complex naval campaigns of the post-Trafalgar Napoleonic Wars, seeking to take advantage of the withdrawal of British forces from the Atlantic in the aftermath of the Battle of Trafalgar. Emperor Napoleon ordered two battle squadrons to sea from the fleet stationed at Brest. During December 1805, escaping deep into the Atlantic, these squadrons succeeded in disrupting British convoys, evading pursuit by British battle squadrons and reinforcing the French garrison at Santo Domingo. The period of French success was brief. On 6 February 1806 one of the squadrons, under Vice Admiral Corentin Urbain Lysux, was intercepted by a British squadron at the Battle of San Domingo and destroyed, losing all five of its ships of the line. The second French squadron, under Vice Admiral Jean-Baptiste Willaumes, cruised in the South Atlantic and the Caribbean during the spring and summer of 1806 conducting several successful raids on British islands in the West Indies. His ability to affect British trade was hampered by the deployment of British squadrons against him and the disobedience of Captain Jérôme Bonaparte, the Emperor's brother. On 18 August an Atlantic hurricane dispersed his ships, causing severe damage and forcing them to take shelter in friendly or neutral harbours in the Americas. Waiting British ships destroyed one vessel, and several others were so badly damaged that they never sailed again. The four survivors limping back to France individually over the next two years, the various British squadrons deployed against him failed to catch Will Almes, but their presence had limited his ability to raid British trade routes. The campaign included a number of subsidiary operations by both British and French ships, some taking advantage of the campaign to conduct smaller operations while the main enemy forces were distracted, others operating as diversions to the principal campaign to attack undefended areas or lure British ships away from the principal French squadrons. Among these operations was the return of the squadron under Contra Admiral Charles Alexander de Randlinois from the Indian Ocean which was captured at the action of 13 March 1806, the raiding cruises of Hermite's expedition and Lamillary's expedition, which captured a number of merchant ships but each lost a frigate breaking through the blockade of the French coast, and the destruction of a convoy of seven French ships destined with supplies for the French West Indies at the action of 25 September 1806. French squadrons, Admiral Lysager's squadron both of the principal French squadrons departed Brest on 13 December, remaining together for the first two days before dividing in pursuit of separate British merchant convoys on 15 December. The squadron under Lysigs clashed with the convoy's escort before breaking off and sailing south for the French Caribbean, where Lysigs was intending to land the 1,000 soldiers carried aboard as reinforcements for the garrison at Santo Domingo via the Azores. The voyage was long and difficult, Lysigs struggling through winter storms that divided his squadron and inflicted severe damage to his ships. Arriving at Santo Domingo on 20 January, Lysigs disembarked his troops and began extensive repairs to his ships in preparation for raiding cruises in the Caribbean. On 6 February, Lysigs was surprised at anchor by a squadron under Vice Admiral Sir John Thomas Duckworth which had been taking on fresh supplies at Bastair when news of Lysager's arrival reached him, joined by ships from the West Indian squadron. Duckworth's force was larger than Lysager's and also had the advantage of the wind that prevented the unprepared French squadron from escaping. Sailing westwards along the coast in a line of battle, Lysager's flagship Imperial was the first to be attacked eventually driving ashore along with the next in line, while three others surrendered at the Battle of San Domingo. Lysigs himself escaped ashore. The only surviving ships of his squadron were the frigates, all of which eventually returned to France later in the spring. Admiral Willaumez's squadron after separating from Lysigs on 15 December, Willaumez sailed south capturing a number of vessels from a British troop convoy and sending the prizes, with the frigate Volontaire, to Tenerife. 
Will Hermes's intention was to raid the China fleet, a large convoy of valuable East Indiamen that sailed from the Far East to Britain every year. However, on 23 December he was pursued by Duckworth and driven far off course, so that by the time he reached the Cape of Good Hope, where he planned to resupply his ships, it had already been captured by a British expeditionary force. Turning westwards, Will Almez raided shipping in the South Atlantic until April, when he anchored at Salvador in neutral Brazil. By early May, Will Almez was at sea again, stopping at KN and then splitting his force to raid shipping in the Leeward Islands prior to reuniting at Fort de France on Martinique in June. On 1 July, Will Almez sailed again, attacking shipping at Montserrat, Nevis and Saint. Kits before sailing to Tortola in preparation for an attack on the Jamaica convoy. Before he could reach the convoy, Will Almez was intercepted off the Passage Islands by a squadron under Rear Admiral Sir Alexander Cochrane and driven northwards into the Bahamas. There he waited for the Jamaica convoy to pass, seizing any ship of any nationality that came within sight, in case they should reveal his position. After several weeks of waiting, Captain Bonaparte, the Emperor's brother and commander of the ship Veteran, decided that he would no longer submit to Will Almez's command and sailed north during the night of 31 July, without orders or even notifying the Admiral. Veteran eventually returned to France on 26 August, after destroying six ships from a Quebec convoy. Panicked by the unexplained disappearance of one of his ships and its illustrious captain, Will Almez struck north in search of the vessel and as a result missed the passage of the Jamaica convoy, also narrowly avoiding an encounter with the squadrons under Warren and Strachan. On 18 August a hurricane dispersed his ships, severely damaging them and scattering them along the Atlantic seaboard of the Americas. One was destroyed by a British patrol, two others were too badly damaged to be repaired and were broken up, and three of his ships successfully made the journey back to France over the next two years. Admiral Linois's squadron One of the minor French squadrons that participated in the campaign was the force under Contra Admiral Linois who had sailed for the Indian Ocean with a ship of the line and four frigates in March 1803 during the Peace of Amiens. After brief stops at Puducherry and Isle de France, Linois sailed on a raiding cruise to the South China Sea only to be driven off by a British merchant convoy at the Battle of Puloura. Despite subsequent minor success against merchant ships, including the Battle of Visagapatam, Linois's failure to inflict significant damage to British trade in the Far East enraged Napoleon, and in late 1805, with supplies running low and his ships in need of repair, Linois began the return journey to Europe with just his flagship and a single frigate remaining. By the early morning of 13 March 1806 he was in the mid-Atlantic when his lookouts spotted sails in the distance, turning his force around to investigate. Linois hoped to encounter a merchant convoy but instead discovered the large British second-rate HMS London looming out of the darkness ahead. Unable to escape, Linois fought until his ships were battered and he himself was badly wounded. But he eventually surrendered to the squadron under Admiral Warren that had followed London. Napoleon's fury at Linois was unabated and the French admiral remained a prisoner of war for the next eight years. Commodore Hermite's squadron One of the principal French diversionary operations during 1806 was by a force that had been sent to sea in October 1805 as a diversion during the Trafalgar campaign, which by then was almost over. Sailing from Lorient to West Africa, Le Meat was supposed to have been reinforced by a squadron under Jérôme Bonaparte and attack and capture British forts on the West African coast, thus forcing the detachment of British forces from the main campaign in pursuit. The events of the end of the Trafalgar campaign cancelled these plans and the scheduled reinforcements were instead attached to Will Almez's squadron. Despite this setback, 
Le Meat continued with elements of the original plan and attacked British merchant ships and slave ships off West Africa during the spring of 1806, inflicting some local damage but failing to capture a trading post or to affect the wider strategic situation. In June, Le Meat sailed to Cayenne for supplies and then returned to Europe the following month encountering part of the British blockade squadron under Rear Admiral Thomas Lewis on his return and losing the frigate Prey Sident. Commodore Larmeyrie's squadron one of the French squadrons that operated in the Atlantic campaign of 1806 was the result of opportunity rather than strategy. After the Battle of Trafalgar, most of the French survivors had retreated to Cadiz where they remained until Duckworth's blockade squadron abandoned the port in November 1805. Although Duckworth's ships were replaced by forces under Lord Collingwood, the replacements were inadequate and on 26 February 1806, while the blockade squadron, which had been pulled back in the hope of luring the French out of the port, had been blown off station. Four frigates and a brig escaped chased by the British frigate HMS Hydra. Commodore Louis La Mara La Milleri refused battle and abandoned the brig Furet to the British in his haste to escape, sailing to Senegal and then Cayenne. La Mairie's operations had little effect and by the 18th of May he was already on the return journey to France hoping to anchor in the Biscay port of Rochefort. On 27 July, the frigates were spotted by HMS Mars, a ship of the line of the British blockade squadron, and chased with the frigate Rhine rapidly falling behind, declining to support the straggler. La Milleri ran on towards France while Mars took possession of Rhine, and the surviving ships found safe ports along the Biscay coast. Commodore Soleil's squadron The final French operation in the Atlantic during the campaign was an attempt to send seven frigates and corvettes to the French West Indies in September, laden with supplies to help maintain the strength and morale of the garrisons. With Willaumez believed to be still at sea, September 1806 seemed a good time to send a squadron into the Atlantic. But in fact the force was spotted within hours of leaving Rochefort by the British blockade force under Commodore So Samuel Hood. Hood's force gave chase and the large ships of the line soon caught up the frigates in heavy weather, sending four of his ships off in different directions. Soleil attempted to give them cover with his three largest vessels. But after a hard-fought battle in which Hood lost an arm, four of the French frigates were captured. British squadrons. Admiral Warren's squadron A squadron under Admiral Warren prepared at Spithead in December 1805 included one second-rate, one eighty gunship of the line and five seventy-four gunships of line, but no frigates or smaller vessels to operate as scouts. Prevented from sailing during December by high winds, Warren remained off St. Helens on the Isle of Wight until the middle of January when the winds lifted and he set a course for Madeira. There he was to search for information of the French squadrons and, if no information was forthcoming, to sail for Barbados and augment the squadrons in the Caribbean. For the next two months, Warren remained in the central eastern Atlantic Ocean, aware that Willaumez was cruising to the south and that Lysigs had been destroyed off San Domingo. During February his force was joined by the independently sailing frigate HMS Amazon. On 13 March 1806, Warren's squadron sighted and pursued two sails to the northeast, which were eventually recognized as the squadron under Admiral Linois, returning to France from an extended cruise in the Indian Ocean. In the ensuing action of 13 March 1806, London and Amazon were able to defeat and capture the French ships Marengo and Belle Poule. The resulting damage and prizes prompting Warren to return to Britain. During the return journey his squadron was struck by a spring storm and several ships suffered damage and were separated, eventually rejoining Warren's main force and returning to Spithead. In Britain, Warren's ships underwent repairs in London and Repulse were detached, replaced by HMS Fame under Captain Richard Bennett.
In late June Warren's squadron sailed again, under orders to intercept Will Almez off the Bahamas. Arriving in the Caribbean on 12 July, Warren narrowly missed intercepting Will Almez's squadron, which had sailed to the north in search of Veteran. Admiral Strachan's squadron Admiral Strachan's squadron was ordered to prepare for sea during December at Plymouth, but like Warren's force, Strachan was trapped by strong winds in Corsand Bay and could not sail until mid-January. Strachan's orders were to sail for St. Helena and search for signs of the French squadrons. If their whereabouts could not be discovered, Strachan was to join the squadron under Admiral Sir Home Riggs Poffham detail to invade the Dutch colony at the Cape of Good Hope. During February and March Strachan searched in vain, eventually receiving the news that Will Almez had anchored in neutral Salvador in Brazil during April. Steering northwest in the hope of intercepting the French squadron, Strachan was hampered by the presence of HMS St. George, which proved too slow for a flying squadron. Returning to Plymouth, Strachan detached St. George and Centaur, which had been made the flagship of the Rochefort Blockade Squadron and was given HMS Belle Isle, HMS Audacious and HMS Montague as replacements, as well as two frigates. Departing Plymouth on 19 May, Strachan sailed for the Caribbean, passing Madeira and the Canary Islands before anchoring at Carlisle Bay, Barbados on 8 August. Five days later Strachan sailed northwards in pursuit of Will Almez and on 18 August was caught in the same hurricane that dispersed Will Almez's squadron slightly to the north. During August and September, Strachan's scattered ships gathered off the rendezvous point of Chesapeake Bay in the hope of intercepting any French vessels seeking shelter in American ports. On 14 September, Belle Isle, Bellona and Melampus sighted the limping French ship Impetuou off Cape Henry and drove her ashore, burning the wreck in violation of American neutrality. Admiral Duckworth's squadron the third principal British squadron and deployed during the campaign was never intended to take part in it. Admiral Duckworth had been ordered to lead the blockade of Cadiz in November 1805, following the destruction of the French and Spanish fleets at the Battle of Trafalgar on 21 October. Finding the blockade of the survivors at Cadiz dull, Duckworth sailed south in search of Alamand's expedition, leaving just two frigates to watch the Spanish port. Alamand escaped Duckworth, but on 23 December he was informed of the depredations by Will Almez's squadron and sailed to intercept him. On 25 December he discovered Will Almez but was unable to catch him eventually abandoning the chase and retiring to St. Kitts in the West Indies to take on fresh supplies. There he was joined by several ships of the Leeward Islands Squadron under Admiral Cochrane and also learned of the arrival of Lysigs at Santo Domingo. Sailing to intercept the French squadron, Duckworth successfully encountered him on 6 February 1806 and in the ensuing Battle of San Domingo, captured or destroyed all five of the ships of the line, carrying his prizes to Jamaica. Duckworth then returned to Britain, leaving Cochrane with a number of vessels to patrol the Eastern Caribbean in anticipation of the arrival of Will Almez. Admiral Cochrane's squadron following the Battle of San Domingo, Rear Admiral Sir Alexander Cochrane, newly knighted, gathered a small squadron in anticipation of the arrival of the second French force under Will Almez. Based at Carlisle Bay, Barbados, Cochrane's forces patrolled the Leeward Islands for the French force during the spring, eventually locating Will Almez's ships at Fort de France on Martinique on 14 June 1806. An attempt to blockade the port ended in failure as several ships were damaged in high winds, but when Will Almez sailed on 1 July, Cochrane had planned ahead, and brought his squadron to Tortola, blocking the passage through which Will Almez would have to sail to attack the valuable Jamaica convoy, then gathering off St. Thomas. With his squadron, Cochrane successfully drove off Will Almez on 4 July without a fight and the French admiral retired to the Bahama banks to await the convoy's passage northwards. 
Cochrane spent the next month preparing the convoy for its voyage, which it began during August while Will Almez was out of position to the north. Rochefort blockade squadrons although other British forces were deployed during the year, most were engaged on other operations incidental to the main Atlantic campaign, such as the expeditionary force to the Cape of Good Hope under Commodore Home Riggs Popham. In addition, a number of blockade squadrons were deployed to the major ports of the French Atlantic coast. These forces contained the French warships still at anchor in the ports and restricted the return of French warships from service at sea during the campaign. These forces included a Channel Squadron under Rear Admiral Thomas Lewis, whose ships intercepted and captured a frigate of Commodore Jean Martyr Adrian Hermite's squadron on 27 September and blockade forces off Cadiz under the distant command of Vice Admiral Lord Collingwood and Brest under Admiral William Cornwallis. Cornwallis in particular was particularly effective. Under his watch, only one French ship of the line successfully entered or departed Brest Harbour during the year. There was one blockade force that played a particular role in the campaign, the force deployed to the waters off Rochefort, initially under the command of Commodore Richard Goodwin Keats. Under Keats, the French squadron under Louis La Mara La Milleri was intercepted on 17 July, HMS Mars capturing a frigate and chasing the others into port. In August, Keats was replaced by Commodore So Samuel Hood, who was to achieve one of the more notable victories of the year at the action of 25 September 1806 when a French convoy of seven ships sailing to the West Indies was intercepted and defeated. Although Hood's force captured four large modern frigates, the French fought hard and Hood himself was seriously wounded by musket fire, losing an arm.